Alright, now we are looking at the Hunchback 2CB with 4 missile hard points and 2 energy. Energies in CT, missiles are nice and high mounted in the side torsos. The current build is 4 SRM6s with Artemis and 2 medium pulse lasers. You can run smaller lasers like small pulse or ER meads if you'd like and then up an arms armor and maybe add a heat sink I think. But I really don't think it's worth it. It's a, it's kind of a hot build when you're fully engaged on a like consistent basis, but it's not so hot that you're desperate for more heat sinks and adding armor to your arms isn't going to make them better at shielding. Um I think there actually is a patch coming up that will increase the size of the arm hitbox, but your tor side torsos are just so huge, I doubt it'll make any real difference. I really do like this build. I think it's the best brawling build for the variant, if not the chassis, but there are some problems with it. First of all, this mad dog is in a really weird position. It's I don't think he went the right way around that hill. But yeah, back to the build. I don't... A lot of people were enthusiastic about this sort of build, this variant for its brawling capability. Four missile launchers on a medium, that's that's the sweet spot. It's not so much that you're, like, going crazy, running out of ammo, and overheating from just missiles or anything like that. But it's also enough that you're doing really, really nice damage. Um, but I haven't been really impressed by its abilities. It's a brawler that you cannot afford to do a full engaged brawl. It's too squishy for it. It's just too squishy. All its weapons are in its side torsos, basically, and it can lose its side torsos so easily. What it can do, its biggest strength in my opinion, is that it can do this kind of short-range pop-tarting thing that I've been a huge fan of since, like, since the Griffin 3M popped on the scene. I... It's just so, so nice at that, like, short-range poking with SRMs. Which is what Caustic is perfect for. So it's kind of working out here. Uh, there's other reasons why I don't like it on Caustic that I'll get to later, but for now, it's working well. Uh, these rocks are really annoying for movement, and I really hope that they get reworked, or at least that this sort of terrain is not included in future maps. But it does help break up sight lines, it does help you get safer pokes on, and it helps you do this weird sort of short range pop targeting that I'm trying to make work. Um, I really love that they've reduced the or I guess increase the convergence of SRMs because it makes shots like that possible. Uh, it's not quite super tight on the SRM6s, but it, I think it's tight enough. And either way, shots like this don't matter. Red smoke fucking freaks me out. But we're okay. We're okay here. Um, so yeah. It, Excel, this mech excels at getting free damage, I would say, f as far as brawlers go at any rate, but it does, if it's not free damage, it's pricey damage. I friggin' literally looked right past that Centurion, I do not like pushing into the Caldera, just because, or at least without my team at my back, just because, first of all, I can't tell how many mechs are in the Caldera if there's ECM, everything just blends in, and... Also, it's just really hot, and I'm riding the heat threshold already. Um, I just, I don't, I don't, there's a lot of things about this map I don't like, but I think if they reworked the movement system a little bit, it wouldn't be so bad. But something to keep in mind is that those SRM6s are, see, this is what I'm talking about, so annoying. But these SRM6s are very heat efficient. SRM4s have a lower cooldown and slightly tighter spread, which makes them really effective for their tonnage. But SRM6s actually do less heat per missile tube. So that's a good reason to want to pick SRM6s on a mech like this over the 4s that used to be standard. And situations like this 
are why I hate the friggin' torso pitch. It's absurd. Like, it's just so bad. It, it's not as big of a deal in the long range backs, but in shorter range backs like this, it's just game breaking. Like, it just completely ruins my pleasure. And I'm out of ammo, but whatever, it's just la one last mech. Perfect time to run out of ammo, I'd say. But, like I said, the limited torso pitch drives me crazy. Oh, oh, he's right in front of you? He's 80 meters away? Sorry, no, you still can't shoot him. Oh, man. I absolutely hate that. This guy lasted a little bit longer than he should have, but whatever. He's dead. And that's that for SRMs.